Now, you have a body, mm -hmm. you have a spirit, and we said that past life is something that maybe is possible. Mm -hmm. How do you find past life? That's the question. What is the secret of finding past life? Yeah. So this is not something that I will teach in, in an interview. Yeah. But I can tell you that it takes uh, a few hours mm -hmm. to get any person to recall his past life. There are a few things that you need to do uh, that basically open the vault, mm -hmm. open these things that you hide, what you don't want to look at. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at those things that you consider as a loss and actually re uh, recover your ability to confront them. Yeah. And once you recover your ability to confront them without touching them, you do that by recovering the ability to confront the manifestation on today. Mm -hmm. What happened is you all of a sudden simply know. And when I say you know, you will remember, you'll be able to remember who you are, where you are. Go and check and see that there was a person like that in that place and you've never been there. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember the address, you remember the house, you remember the colors, you remember a bank account, you will remember if you handle the things that prevents you from actually being willing to look at that. Yes. So anyone can recall past life, or I can say it more correctly, anyone that uh, is willing to handle the manifestation in this life of what is done in past life, mm -hmm will be able to recover past life. So yeah. in this life, 99% of what you do is not because of what's happening right now, but is because of what happened in the past. Yeah. Because in the physical universe, everything has a prior cause, everything has a reason. Yes. So 99% of what you do right now is because of what you've done before. Yeah, and, and then most of that is hidden. And most of it is hidden. Yeah. Like one guy like to play guitar and one guy loves to play, uh, I don't know, saxophone, but he cannot. He loves to dance, but he thinks that he's left leg. Or he, lo he whatever, he, he loves uh, money, but he thinks he didn't born Jewish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have these limitations. You have these limitations. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, uh, and but by the way, Luciana said, it took me less than a few hours to recall past lives under your supervision. Yeah. So it's amazing. So, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So what you need, you need to do this uh, spiritual cleanse. Mm -hmm. It's really you, you, the spiritual cleanse is, uh, it's not that we're taking a hose and we're yeah. cleaning the spirit. <laughs> no special soap. <laughs> no, yeah. But what it is, the spirit uh, in an effort to protect uh, other beings from its viciousness when it realizes that it did something not right or that it consider it's not right it's actually never the spirit by the way but when mm -hmm. it thinks that it's not right the spirit go away and let something else which we will learn what it is later take control and this something else unlike the spirit has an intention of damaging Mm. So you will give control to something else that just wants to damage you. And you do, do you realize that that's what it wants to do? No, no you think it's a friend. You're, yeah, giving, exactly. you're giving the wheel to a friend who is just trying to make the car crash. Yes. And if you will see, you'll see an, a, a, the dramatization of that in any relationship, in any company, in any friendship, uh, or any person have this situation where they think this guy is the right guy for them, but this guy is the guy that's killing them. Mm. Mm -hmm. they, they trust, there is always this story of I've trusted the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. Trusted the wrong guy. Yeah. And this is just a manifestation of that mechanism. And mm -hmm. we've done it many, 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 many times. And people say they learn from the experience. There's one thing you don't learn from is experience.